Close this door and you can do it. Alright, I'm going to do a balloon tutorial of a wolf. And uh, this is one I made the other day that really started inflating. But uh, I've been wondering, I've been asking a couple different people on YouTube, uh, create a line work wolf or something. Uh, something that will be quick and easy and I don't get any replies back. So, I took Holly Hopper's design and I just kind of modified it. She does a kitty and a lion kind of like that. So I just gave it some pointy ears and we're going to call it a wolf. And I'm going to show you how I do it. So with this one, this is going to be a nose, and what I did was I left a long bit here on the end so that we can tulip twist that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, break that off, and retie that. We'll use these for the, the eyeballs, for the pupils. And we'll tie that back off. Tie up. Okay. And give this a tie as well. So it's just, a, and this is kind of what the eyeball will look like. But we take that and we're going to tie it to the tip of the white nozzle. I'm going to use a white blown up with about three inches of a tail. And we're going to tulip twist that. Okay. And I'm going to twist that. Okay, so that's going to be the snout of the dog. Okay. So now I'm still debating on whether I want to come out like that to uh, to give it more of a longer snout of a wolf look, but I really, I don't want to. And so I'm just going to go with two loop twists, two small loop twists, probably three fingers in length. These are going to be the cheeks. And this is where we take our gray balloon and tie that right in. Right? So now we have this. This is going to be like the mouth of it. And so come back and I'm going to come back probably two fingers and twist these together. This part, this top part is going to be the top of the head and this is going to be going down to make the breast. So now I'm going to create, uh, this is going to be about an eight finger bubble right here. We're going to go with an eight finger bubble and then we're going to go with a four finger bubble. Then we're going to repeat that back down the same the other side so a four finger bubble and an eight finger bubble so these two here should be the same size and these two here should be about the same size twist this end here into this end here <laughs> and michael floyd is an awesome balloon teacher and so he taught me even how to teach like that all right now next we're going to take so this is going to be the front and what I want is, I'm going to actually create another small balloon, small bubble, about the same size as the one we made right here, and then come back up to where the two cheeks are, because I want, that's where I want the, uh, this balloon coming up and over. So now we're going to loop this up and over, give it some separation for some eyes, and this is going to create a wolf head. So just. Loop that up and over so that you get kind of a, um, a pointy eared look. And then twist that right into the white balloon. Now, so we can rearrange our head. So now, oh, see, I don't even like that. Maybe it'll come together. Okay, so it'll look like that. So now I'm gonna come down and just pinch off a about a six inch bubble and then take it right back up to the top with the same thing. And I have one just tiny bubble left, which will be a security pinch twist in the back. But now I've got this here. And so with this white balloon, kind of leave that sticking out, tuck that back in there. And I'm going to create two pinch twists because those will give the the resemblance of like two little paws, two little white paws. This could be kind of like a husky. And we're done with the white balloon, so we can get rid of that. Oh, we're not done with that actually. Baby, you want to grab that for me? And we'll use that for the eyes. No, so you can use this for the eyes. And what I like to do for the eyes, actually, I forgot I have this green one sitting right here. Wasn't even looking over there, but we're going to use green for the eyes. So let's just do that, okay? Let's grab about, uh, I want to say, 
this has got to be really, really extra, super, mega, hyper soft. Okay. So I'm gonna go four. I'm just gonna go four fingers, and then another four. So make that one super soft too, and then twist it together. So you've got the same thing, and we can pop that off. Tie this together. There. Now we have the eyes. The eyeballs can tuck right behind. They can tuck right behind that, and it will give an eyeball. Okay, and that's, it's starting to look pretty cute. I wish I made that longer, I really did. I wish I sunk that tulip twist in there just even deeper. But I didn't, so I'm gonna have to get over it. All right, now we're back to our eyeballs, okay? Make a small bubble, two finger bubble. Pinch twist that, and I like to tie it off. So it's a little bean. And I'm gonna double knot it. Okay, grab some slack, do the same thing over here. Grab that small bubble, and then we need to tie that off. And it's kind of hard to hold all this together. Okay. And that's, I got a leak. And so I'm going to tie it off so it doesn't leak anymore. There, and that should fix it. So we got two different sections of eyeballs there, and I'm gonna take this and push them right in behind that gray one, so it's right like this. Now hopefully, this, these green ones, show right through, okay? And so that's what we have. We have a wolf just like this already, but we're not done really with the back. This is, um, this is just kind of the start, and I've got one more gray, and this is going to create the back. And Holly Hopper, she came up with an amazing design that basically gave him back legs with little loops that we're gonna do. Okay, I'll show you how that does. She does it way better. But uh, so I come back about seven fingers and then I do a pitch twist. These are gonna keep the back legs together. So just a loop, probably five inch loops, five finger loops. And we're gonna go two of those, both together. And so we have this on the back. And now we loop the front legs together. And that's about a five finger bubble. Loop them around the paws and then we go back. And then the rest of this actually creates a wolf tail. So it fills up that last bit right there. Sometimes it comes out that way, sometimes it doesn't. And today I nailed it. Okay, so this is basically our wolf. Position the legs so it looks like he is in a sitting position. And the tail, of course, give the tail a little bit of a curve, give it some character. And so, and with this front, if it bulges out, you kind of press it back so its arms come in front. So it looks like it's sitting up straight and that looks super cute. But, and then lastly, we'll come out and try to make the ears look really pointed because that's what wolves really, really look like. And that's about it that's the it's about a four balloon wolf and so try to make that snout a little bit longer it might look a little bit better so thanks for watching if you like it please comment subscribe all that good stuff there's your wolf